Welcome to uh, Mustard Games, I'm Martin, this is RimWorld Alpha 7. Um, I was actually just recording some of my Alpha 6 series today, the first of which got released today. Uh, and then I got an email to say Alpha 7 was here. So I was a bit like, uh, now what do I do? <laughs> Let me just go through some of the releases, some of the new things. There's some really exciting new things that are in RimWorld Alpha 7. So it's, it's what they're calling the stuff system, uh, which allows you to build everything. So the walls, the furniture, out of the materials you find. So wood, different types of stone, metals, that sort of thing. Um, and then apparently there's like a, a, a new system for calculating stats. Um, and like I said about building things out of things, there are now like sandstone and granite. So that's limestone, that's sandstone. I'm trying to find some other things now and struggling, but never mind. Uh, we'll find, no doubt we'll find that as we go on. You can now also make uh, clothing and you can harvest leather from animals and cloth from cotton crops and some spacey type cloths i've not counted yet this is you know i've just installed seven and and you're gonna play along with me hopefully um what else is there uh, there's some new damage deflection thing based on there's like a, an upgraded arm system where based on the materials you make you can you can do that um you can adjust the armor you're doing. You can actually sort of make armor, as it were. Um, there's a new rainforest, tropical rainforest. I was hoping to get some in the map, and I'm not sure if I've managed to be successful or not, um, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll we'll just play on, on this map, and we'll we'll see. Maybe I'll do some snapshot stuff of different uh, different biomes. Uh, also, although we didn't have it in our last system, our last game, even um, if if any of our characters sort of end up losing a limb or something there's now a prosthetics uh, system from just wooden peg legs all the way up to enhanced bionic um, bits and you can also trans transplant organs and harvest them there are now also diseases that they can catch from each other uh, and also from um, various uh, different um, creatures and stuff also depends on their condition and their health uh, what else is there age related they now get old and that sort of thing and more traits there's a new trade interface which I haven't really played with but I think basically um, all the trade res all the trading vessels um, basically let you do uh, buy and selling everything really which is all good um, and um, oh yeah, neuro trainers. I haven't seen these. Um, apparently, instant training devices, which sound really, really cool. You can now also lock doors. There's now also melee weapons. At last melee weapons, which I think is a great thing. There's some new animals, which I don't think we're going to see. Oh no, there's one there actually. As I say, there's a tortoise. Um, the storytellers have been tweaked and rebalanced, and all sorts of other random, random stuff. But we're going to see. So how this is going to work? So this is Remote Alpha Seven. I'm probably aiming to do two episodes a week that I'm going to release and then my original Alpha 6 series which to be fair I don't think that I'm a million miles away from completing or at least you know setting off in the spaceship which was for me the end goal I'm going to carry that on over the next couple of weeks or so and then when that finishes hopefully I'll replace that with with a new game so keep subscribed uh, and I'm going to be running Alpha 7 and Alpha 6 at the same time I've not played Alpha 7 at all unlike Alpha 6 where I actually played for a little bit before I then started doing the videos um, this is completely fresh and new um, I should say go down in the description below I'll link through to the blog for Alpha 7 and where you can also get the game and, and you, the, the developer has done a, a little mini snapshot to see all the various different things so um, I've created a new world I used the same seed as I did last time which was mustard but I picked a new part of the world um, I have literally just hit pause so we'll see where the pods crash land the pods have crash landed here so let me pause that again very quickly and I will show you because I didn't go through all the different building options uh, like I did last time so I have got the miner uh, who's got 13 but also can grow and has got three cooking and is interesting cooking which I thought would be quite good um, Eri who's our researcher look at that 16 research the mistake I made last time I'm not going to make again but also is good at crafting and just generally oh well but we'll see because we also have our fighter who's also a constructor shooting of 11 which is a good start good medicine and good crafting so who knows we'll see how we get on from that uh, so fighter we're going to pick you're going to pick the Lee Enfold up and you can equip, equip some pistols to start off with um, we probably could do with uh, 
there's a massive caving system here. I think I really should. I, I think I really do like going into the caves. I really do. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to we're going to do it a little bit more uh, appropriately this time. Um, in fact, there's a there's a vent. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this this yeah this is going to be our base right here where they've landed. For once, they've landed in a good spot. So uh, let's hit space and let's get going. So let's first stick some zones down. Let's stick a stockpiles down. Let's stick a growing zone down. Um, let's highlight all these and press F to say they can pick them up which is always good uh, we need to right let's just build some stuff structure uh, so you right click and this will tell you what resources you've got you can then use so I'm going to build wooden um, let's let's yeah let's just build a little shack for them for now uh, a wooden door can go there furniture oh blimey yeah this is looking really cool look so wooden oh wooden beds oh there we go why is that not rotating oh there we go it's rotating there I was pressing the wrong button I think so we'll put them there for now they won't be too happy being there but at least it's a start um, and then we will just basically let's let's speed it up. I've also put changed the AI, so the AI is going to be the the challenging. Uh, I think it's Phoebe. Um, so we shall have time between the encounters, but they should be a little bit harder than than they were. Excellent. So we now have beds. As soon as they finish that other bed, that will be good. I'm going to go straight. I think I know. Have I got all? Uh, no, I haven't even got. Ah, metals. This is, this is, this is. Right, let's have a look around for some metals. Oh, we've got ready to eat meals. That's always useful. We've got some deer. We've got some more ready to eat meals there. Um, we might, we might need these for a bit because we're going to be concentrating on other things. I'm surprised there's no metal around. Oh, what are these? Wild boars. Oh my god, they're amazing. They look fantastic. Um, ah, there we go, some metals. That's what we need. Let me select them again, see if we can pick up any more. So a few more. A few more. So I've got some metals. And even more. Excellent. So, when I build stuff, if I haven't got it, they'll go and sort it out. So let's let's set up a geothermic. Oh, I only need three metal for that. Three, uh, no, uh, yeah, seven more metal, which would be useful. Oh, we'll do that. So uh, let's misc. Let's let's build some research straight away. What? No. Well, okay. That's really interesting. Because so the different materials, as you'll see here, if I go information, it will have how beautiful it is, how flammable it is, the market value, the maximum health, and the works to build it. Um, so as you'll see when we go on and build other structures, that does all affect uh, affect things. Well, that's the research started. So, um, oh, okay, yeah, so uh, what do I build first? I tend to build, I can't even see it now. Pneumatic picks, that's what I tend to build first. Uh, so let's also then build a cook table a cook stove we will put that inside because I think the rain will upset that which is not what we want and we will put butcher's table inside as well and let's go power and run power around just just yeah so that's our start I think we heard that hum humming away actually we can then also put some lights in here off we go wow 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 I'm really excited really excited to be playing um, Alpha 7 um,
And I've, I've decided, by the way, that these episodes... Oh, fog. Although I do hate fog. <laughs> uh, right, so what was that? That's the cook stove. So let's go into add bills, cook simple meal, config it, do until you have got... So there's only three of them, so we'll do it until you have... Uh, we'll do nine. We'll do nine. Overview. So where's my research? So let's turn you off uh, everything but cooking and researching. Mm, let's make these others cookers as well. I doubt they've got any skill. Oh, they're equal level of skill. Well, let's turn you off that doing that then. So she's researching. And doing really, really well at it as well. Oh, the other thing I found, actually, where is it? Where's Fighter? Fighter, I also realised in the stats, careful shooter. So it automatically gets a bonus to shooting, but also gets bonus for uh, other things as well. Oh, OK, sorry. I like that. I like that. Aiming time plus 50, but gets... Uh, um, yeah, OK. We'll see how we get on with that. Be all right when they're hunting, but maybe not so much when they're um, trying to beat everything else down. I think they're going for these meals everywhere. I wish they'd actually collect them up. So we could actually get them to harvest some plants. I don't think any of these are near it. Uh, well, let's see. Let's go into orders. To harvest. There's nothing. Oh, there's some berry bushes there. Excellent. So we've researched picks. Let's start as we mean to go on, really. Um, stone cutting. I always like my stone walls. I do like my stone walls. Right, so now we've got picks. Let's, let's start chipping into this, which is going to be our base. So um, uh, hopefully, we'll find some some materials which will be useful. Let's just go away and see what happens. Yes, we need defences. I suppose that will come and back and bite me if I don't have some, so... Um, yeah, let's just build some turrets. We won't build one there, but we will build two more here. Very expensive. I don't know if I've quite got the the, uh, the metals. That should be enough to cater both of them here. I'm going to go into wood wall. Wow, she's just chewing through that, isn't she? Um, that one? Or hydroponics? Let's do hydroponics. What am I going to do with her when she's done the research? When she's done it all. <laughs> uh, let's, for the avoidance of doubt, let's... Uh, let's just build wood there. We could just chop some of these trees down, can't we? Orders, orders. So we want to chop wood. Or we could chop the wood that's in our... Yeah, okay. Oh, well, it's good to know we've got another steam geezer, geyser geezer, there. Harry is just churning through that research. Just seeing what other resources are about. Right, well, welcome to 
the end of the first episode of my RimWorld. This is so RimWorld Alpha 7, two episodes a week hopefully, um, going out on Thursdays and Tuesdays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays. Remember to like and subscribe, and uh, please, please put your comments down below, especially if you've started playing this. Let me know your, your tips and tip, tips and hints, and that can't be good as well. Oh, local squirrel. We'll find out how we get on with that in the next episode.